Hi everyone, my name is Carlos Romero and I'm in my ninth grade of my career systems engineering and today I'm gonna show you the application of fuzzy logic using R. The study of this case was obtained by a journal article from Science Direct which name is Application of a fuzzy logic based model for risk assessment in additive manufacturing R and D projects. So I'm gonna leave the resource in the description below. Nowadays it's possible to find rigs associated with AM R and D project management. Those rigs has a potential negative impact on project objectives in terms of scope, schedule, cost and quality. So in this research they find rigs that are accessible through a survey answered by 90 academic and professional with noteworthy sector expertise. This process was made by the measurement of two parameters, likelihood of the occurrence and impact on project objectives. And according to the responses of the experts, the level of relevance of each risk was calculated. So in this case, at the end of the video, we're gonna compare the results using MATLAB Fuzzy Logic Toolbox and in my case using the programming language R and we're gonna check we're gonna find out that the results are almost the same. Fuzzy systems which utilize fuzzy sets and fuzzy logic are an attempt to effectively describe the uncertainty of the real world. Fuzzy logic is a generalization of classical logic and provides mechanisms of approximation and inference. The approximate reasoning is an attempt to model the human way of thinking and inference, and uh, it is known that the human brain performs more approximate considerations based on qualitative criteria of perception than accurate considerations based on the amount of data. That's why we're gonna set up our fuzzy logic to find out the relevance of those potential risks in this kind of projects. Step 1. Choice the inference system. We're gonna see that according to our input and output, according to our rules, according to the flexibility of the system design, we're gonna choose the right system inference. Step number 2. Selection of the linguistic variables. In this case, we can see two inputs, probability and impact, and they will be inserted in our fuzzy logic system or risk assessment system, and we've got at the end the relevance as an output. So the linguistic variables of those inputs and output will be measured by by values like very low low, medium, high, and very high. Step number three, formulation of membership functions. In this study, we can see that they choose the triangular function, and here we have the mathematical steps to, to draw this triangular function. We can see the A as the lower limit, M as the value, and B the upper limit. On the other side, we can see the description of the linguistic variables of this input likelihood, the interpretation, how likely is this, are those risks to occur, and their respective fuzzy number. The same with impact and the output relevance. And here we've got a matrix likelihood versus impact which will be useful to set up our fuzzy rules. Step number four, aggregation of respondents evaluation into a group fuzzy number. In this table, we can see all of those risks identified by those academic and professional with a noteworthy expertise in this sector in 3D printing and project management. So, we will insert all of these values of likelihood and impact 
into our FASI inference process. Step number five, FASI inference process. For this purpose, I'm going to show you the application of FASI logic in the programming language R and we, we are going to insert the values from the step number four and we, we will be able to see the results as an output. First of all, we're going to clean our workspace. Here in the console, just press Ctrl plus L. Here, you can swipe up all your plows. And here, you can swipe up all the, the elements created in the previous, uh, in the previous workspace. Then, you have to install the library sets. Just type install that's that packages and specify the library you want to install. In this case, it sets. I'm not going to do it because I have already installed it. Then, you have to specify a universal variable, which is a sequence here, starting from 1 to 5 and the position 0 0.01 then you specify your dimensions here we've got the variables and setting up those inputs and output in this case we're gonna use the fuzzy partition function to specify in this case you're we're using the fuzzy cone which is the, uh, made for triangular functions we've got also radius the precision of how they are gonna draw the, the those triangular functions here and the universe set up in a uh, set up here and specifying also the linguistic variables very low low medium high and very high then we've got the fuzzy rules. We're setting up the rules according to our fuzzy matrix, where our fuzzy rules matrix. Here we've got fuzzy rule. If likelihood is very low and impact is very low, the relevance will be very low, and so on. And here we've got our variable model to to run our inference system uh, using the function fuzzy system inserting as parameters variables and rules then we're gonna print the model to see that in the console and we're gonna plot our model to see that here in our plot section then I'm inserting all of those rigs identified in step number four and I'm inserting this model, this model, uh, the, our system, our FASI system, and at least the likelihood, the value of the likelihood, and the value of the impact. Then we will use the our the FASI me method. The method of the centroid was chosen here, and we're gonna use a summary of those uh, of this process here where from each row we're gonna set up uh, the values in a matrix here we got here a defacify function then we're gonna create a data frame with likelihood and impact combinations to plot it and then for each likelihood and impact combination we're gonna compute a relevance here a value of relevance. Then we're gonna install the library reshape2 here and with install that package the packages and then we're gonna create a 3D interactive interactive plot using the library plotly. We're gonna specify the value of C the relevance that matrix that we which meant here which was made here 
and we're gonna create a surface a surface with those variables then we're gonna plot it this and finally we're gonna we're gonna reset our universe let's try it out control a and run so here we've got our plots the likelihood with the respective membership function of every linguistic variables and we are also computing all of those diffusified values here using the centroid method and now we're gonna see we're gonna check we're gonna find out our surface let's wait a little a little bit um, yep we can see our results the surface of the assessment of rigs here we've got from every value x y and c likelihood versus impact and the relevance values from this surface step number six comparing results in the left side we can see the results using the MATLAB toolbox uh, for fuzzy logic and in the right side the, uh, using the programming language R and we can see that the results are almost the same and how we can take advantage of this programming language uh, for the uh, fuzzy logic applications I'm gonna leave this code in the description below and that was it thank you so much see you next time